Hi there, how you doing? Welcome to the Sue Klaus Show. I am your host, Sue Klaus, for another in-depth <laughs> piece of crap. No, I... Progress on the uh, loan front. I was able to apply for the loan, finally. So basically three months into the process, I can apply for the loan. Now, the next steps are getting a general contractor and an appraiser. And I'll get a home inspector too. Bring them into the mix. And have them meet with the consultant who did the report. And have them agree, see if they can agree that that report is correct, that the general contractor can do it for that cost, and that the appraiser feels that once it's done, it'll be worth that when it's done. Uh, then the architect gets in on it. And I think once that is done, we can close. If, at that point, the bank actually approves the loan. Lots of paper. I signed lots and lots of paper. There was a pile of mortgage papers and a pile of HUD papers. She said, how's your hand holding up? And I said, bring it on! Bring it on! I'm just getting warmed up! <laughs> lovely staycation. My friend Deb and I, uh, she works where I work, and we've been friends for a while now, and we took basically 24 hours, went downtown, checked in at the International Hostel on Congress, uh, had dinner at the Cafecita, which is right there, uh, which excellent Cuban sandwiches, pressed sandwiches, uh, chicken with red onion and citrus mayonnaise. With the Cuban spices on the chicken and the citrus mayonnaise, it was just lovely. It was lovely. Then we went to the Peter Gabriel concert the, with the New Blood Orchestra, and it was so enjoyable. It was wonderful. I, I enjoyed it immensely. I also always love a good light show with a concert, and I was not disappointed. Uh, I had a good time. We both had a good time. After the concert, we went back to the hostel and, you know, went to bed because we were, I was socked. And all night, because the hostel is right by the L, I kept waking up because they kept expecting rain. Kept waking up saying, oh, it must be raining. No, that's the train. And I wake up, oh, it must be raining. No, that's the train. <laughs> Didn't get a lot of sleep, but okay. It was very comfortable otherwise. I mean, it was clean. It's very sparse. I mean, it's kind of a Spartan room, but bed, bed clothes, a towel for your shower. Um, a desk, a chair, a luggage rack, a dresser, closet. What else do you need? You don't. So for 38 bucks each, we had a very enjoyable stay. In the morning, free breakfast at the hostel. You do have to wash your plates and, and utensils, but no big deal there. Checked out, moved the car up toward Wacker Drive, and went on the architectural boat tour sponsored by the Arch Chicago Architectural Foundation. I strongly recommend this tour. It was a lovely 90 minutes of seeing some of the most incredible buildings. There are new buildings I hadn't even seen at all. Brand new. Because I haven't really taken the time lately to just look at the buildings. I haven't done that for a very long time. So this was good. After that, we went to the corner bakery for lunch and lovely sandwiches there too. And came home. So 
it was basically a 24-hour vacation, but we put a lot of good time into it, and so we had a good time, and it was lovely. And I was socked by the time I got home. I, I picked up the dog because I had boarded him <clears throat> just for the one night. So he was tired. I was tired. So we just kind of both passed out once I settled down. And back to work on Wednesday. <laughs> it was nice. It was over two days, but the vacation itself was really a 24-hour span of things. Because I also did the uh, mortgage signing on Monday morning, too. <laughs> oh, it was a quite heady morning, but that's okay. So we'll see. We have to get a hold of a general contractor now. ask some of my family members if they know people out here in the South land that they have worked with. I don't think Alan worked as his own general contractor when he built his house. It's lovely. Um, so I'll ask him and I'll ask my cousin Freddie and see who they recommend. I don't know if Judy's still in Florida or not. So, anyway, I'm going to put the word out and say, okay, looking for general contractors in the Southland, who do you recommend? Also for electrical and plumbing and siding, you know, and uh, get their judgment calls on that. I'm talking to a few contractors just to get the lay of the land and just to get acquainted with them, but all my calls went to messages today because I was in meetings, then I was in class, and then I'm still catching up from being gone for two days from work, so. That's a necessary evil, so. And time to cap the cigarette. I'll just put it away and I'll, I'll have more later. <laughs> So, hope you're, and it's very cloudy. It looks like snow clouds. It's going to be in the 50s tonight in the end of June, toward the end of June. I have no complaints about that personally because it was a hot Tuesday and we were out in the sun. I actually got a little sunburn, a little bit. Not bad. I really tried not to, but I missed a spot with the sunscreen, so oh well. Anyway. Hope you're having a good week. Behave yourselves. Be careful out there. And uh, keep your eyes and ears open. Job, remember that job one is taking care of yourself. If you don't do that, you can't take care of anyone else. Do not do anything where you are not being true to yourself. If anyone else tries to exert power over you, Only cooperate as much as you need to to survive. There's no need to sell your soul, even though it will feel like it, because there's some hard time times coming. Uh, so be ready. Yeah, my house may be a totally moot point. Yeah, so I'm going to proceed until I can. can I do but just go on but just go on with life and that's it so take care of yourself talk to you later bye bye <laughs>